yeah, if they're hitchhiking, I mean, is it sort of taking shelter from what we're seeing across, you know, this concentrated equity market, which seems like we're just kind of focusing on these winners of AI and the like? I mean, can you tell us a bit more? How, how do you even maintain a diversified portfolio at a time when everyone's kind of flocking to the same sort of trades? So, so uh, and, and again, where you see this a lot is uh, potentially in um, family office and not for profits and endowments type portfolios, where often you have people who aren't necessarily as experienced as the institutional side. And it's really difficult to actually say, well, how do you maintain diversification? What was the, the point of doing it? It's at its most um, difficult if you're talking to US investors, because there they had a low cost passive option which did better than anything else. Yeah. I think when you're outside the US, of course, people won't think this way, but you would ask the question, well, what if you had stayed just 100% domestic in your market? And in most cases, that would have been a worse thing to do. So I think you have to use the lessons of history, you have to look at what's going on, and you say at some point in the future, you know, over the longer term, you need equities to generate the returns that you need, but perhaps you need some defense in your portfolio portfolio from having diversification as leadership rotates as it inevitably will at some point in the future. Yeah. And do you think, do you get a, I, this is probably a philosophical question, do you think we are overestimating or underestimating AI? I think, well, what's the, the famous quote from um, Mr. Gates? You, we overestimate the changes in the next two years right. and over eight over the ten. <laughs> yeah. I would look at inside even our own workplace what we are doing. Mm -hmm. So the, the broader models that are out there, we've actually used those models internally but got it to learn from what Marsh McLennan staff generally are doing. And the differences they're making to our day-to-day -day lives are real. And so if you need to do something, the uh, assistant is absolutely able to generate something that helps you do your job. And I think that will be the, the continuing trend. We did a survey from all the investment managers that we work with very recently. What we saw out of that was that, to date anyway, a lot of the AI is coming in on the data processing, the data harvesting, enabling you to do the job better. I don't think, other than you know, people who already had quant type shops, I don't yeah. think it's moving into the predictive side of things yet, but it will do over time, I think.